Well, hello there, YouTubers. It's Manny B here, and my friend Nicholas Horton uh, from the US. This is the Kangatech Cup T2. No, no, Cup T1. But, anyways, um, my mistake. So, as you can see, we have the red mod there, and the glass is red. Yep. Hi, guys. This is Nicholas. Let me turn him up. So, I love this mod. I've been trying it for a day. Um, got it for Christmas Day, which is um, gone. Because it's now 12.27am. It's a lovely mod. Would I recommend it? Um, well, well, we'll get to that. So, in the box, you get the cup tea. Um, absolutely good device. I will explain all in a minute. And then behind here, the manual is not in the box because I've been using it. But you get a manual... Um, I've read, um, and you get all this code, authentic code, you get a red USB cable, you get the mouth to lung coil which is a one ohm coil and you get the mouth to lung mouthpiece. Um, so yeah, this, is, can, this can be used in either mouth to lung or fully straight lung which is what I've got it in. That coil, mouth to lung coil is never going to be used. Um, so the mod itself is here. It is. So here we go with the mod. You got the fire button there. Real quick. I'm gonna just do a quick demo of my Joytech keyboard with my Twisted Messes RDA. Let's crank it up. Seventy nine. Right, back to the video. Good video, huh? So, anyways, we have a max fill line. I know it's a little bit dark, I do apologise for that. Um, but we have the screen up top, and on the screen shows your battery life. It's a single 18650 battery life. Ohms, volts you're pulling from the battery when being fired and uh, your wattage this can be done in temp mode as well um, this coil isn't a temp mode I don't know if it's a temp mode coil it does stay in probably is but um, it's the SS coil stainless steel coil um, and so you fill it by taking the tube out where are we there we go so you fill it by taking the, the tube out it's in the tanks in built into it um, top airflow. So this is the upgraded version of the knee box or any box, um, which everything was on the bottom. This you don't have to unscrew the battery. It's just got a latch, so you latch it, and there's your battery. And you don't have to fill it from the bottom. It, it has got a replaceable glass, so it is a lovely mod. Um, the only downside to this mod is the coils. They are crap. The coils that you can get you can on, the only two coils I've found online um, is nickel and stainless steel. Um, they need to they do a rebuildable base, but that's still not going to be as good. Apparently, the rebuildable rebuildable base in this kind of e stick isn't really good because the what happens is the coil is attached to the bottom of the shaft to the where the mouthpiece and airflow is. You unscrew that, so you unscrew that, and it's all attached. So I'm just going to unscrew it and fill it. I am got some Mr. Pink, Pink Man. So you take it out and it goes out like that. Everything's attached. So I am just going to now quickly fill it. So bear with me. I've had no leaking issues with this yet. Using it for a day. I do fill it a bit too full sometimes, but it doesn't. Ah, shit. And it's hard to screw the top on because you'll over, over thread it. Um, so just screwing it back on. There you go, nice full e sig. 
the only issue I've had with it so far is um, when you first get a new coil and because the coil is onto the shaft when you put the shaft into the liquid it floods the coil for the first time using it uh, that's the only issue I've had is one flooding I, I cleared the flooding and then it's not flooded since touch wood and it works great so like I say the glass is red has Kangatech on the side has a fire button there there's your little hole for the battery it's just like I say single 18650 there's not much more I can really say about this mod apart um, it does temperature control and it does um, wattage mode 75 watts max but the coil that you get um, the, the coil that you get I'm just trying to get this there you go I've got it on I've got it on now so what Kangatech need to do is because a lot of people use this is really good device if you want to get started vaping because you don't have to mess with a tank I got this for work and using this it, it's been really good it vapes well good amount of airflow um, I don't like the drip tip because it's got it's like a it's, it's a weird got loads of rings around it and it um, the drip tip picks up loads of dust dead easy so yeah so you get I have flipped the screen so press and hold the two the plus and the minus button to flip the screen the screen was flipped upside down I vape it this way where the button is, is away from me so I get catch it by my finger lad so it's more comfortable instead of trying to use my thumb um, don't fill it over the max line because then it will overflow when you pop the, the shaft back in um, like I say there's not much more I can really say about it um, I would recommend it just the only bit I don't like like I say is the coils because uh, maximum on this coil is about 40 watts it doesn't say on the coil or in the manual what the maximum wattage is but it's 0.5 ohms and I've I've tried a 61 hit 61 hit watt uh, 61 watt hit should I say and unfortunately it burnt it tasted a bit dry so you can't turn it up to the maximum 75 watts that this coil can handle well that this mod can kick out I mean so what's the point of having 75 watts if the coil can't handle 75 watts it can only handle about 40 45 max if you're really pushing it <coughs> but like I say that's really it the fire buttons there great mod just the coils suck bollocks the coils are alright if you're going from 30 to 40 watts between that range below 30 watts it doesn't really fire very well it's not a cloud chaser it's mainly for people who want to quit smoking or somebody who just wants a portable mod to grab and no messing with a tank um, and say if you're just nipping out shortly it works so this has been Matty P and N, uh, Matty P for NM Vape Reviews and there's Nicholas Harden in the background on Skype I'm just chilling out and talking about this mod I love it to pieces my best mod is the Cuboid Joytech uh, Joytech Cuboid 200 watts with the um, Twisted Message tank the same mod that Nick has just vaped on for you um, Nick got the mod first then I got the mod I do have the RX200 yeah, upgraded to 250 yeah, sure. you got yours way after you got after, after yeah I got it way after because of the fact that I didn't have the money to get it straight away. Okay. I gotta wash some clothes, man, so... Um, I'll be right back. Okay, well, the video's ending now anyways. See you guys later, man. This was, uh, Reason 132. Um... For uh, NM now, Vape Reviews. Um, let me, uh, go ahead and blow out a quick vape real quick. Okay, so like I say, the box shows you all the different, the different, it just has all the writing on the box, 
So one cup to one CLOCC stainless steel 0.5 ohm coil, one nickel 1.5 NICR 1.5 ohm coil USB cable, which I've not used yet because I have plenty of micro USB cables. A lot of people say don't charge the mod, the battery in the mod. A lot of people don't like charging the battery in the mod. It's an 18650. I do take my batteries out. But every now and then I'll do the odd one charge, say if I'm in work or anything like that, I'll do the odd one charge via the mod itself. Um, up to now I have tested it charging the battery via the mod and I've had no issues yet. Um, it charged the battery fine. Um, it does take a while to charge because I don't know how, how powerful the charge is. It's not an upgradable mod but then again because you can't get good coils for it, why would you want to upgrade it to more wattage, to higher wattage or whatever? Because it, the screen doesn't show much information. The screen's actually pretty good. It's clear. I can read it fine. Um, the battery meter's good. They do a Cup T2, which has two 18650s, which is a similar shape to the RX200. And that has the tank built in the side. Um, that's a good mod, but then again, it still uses the same coils as these. That's the only issue I'm having with this mod. I know I've said it thousands of times. I don't, I'll just run out of things to say in these videos. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been Matty P. Um, I, it's, I've had a good Christmas. I hope you've all had a good Christmas. Um, and I can't vape on it because I'm indoors. But Nick's going to do his last vape. So. Oh, come on. I'm wearing my. Because that last hit I took was a pretty dry hit. Any watch right hits no good. Let me put Nick on full screen. There we go, he's on full screen. There we go, so there's been Matty P just um, rambling on about my new mod. It's got some weight to it with 18650. Um, and like I say, I'd, I'd recommend the mod, totally recommend it, just don't like the coils. B because, of, because of the fact that you can't turn it up to 75 watts. Like I say, why have 75 watts if the coil can't handle it? Because it's got big juice flows, but just does not fucking have, the, uh, it just does not work, the coil. It does on low wattage, 30 to 40 watts, like I say. But, hey-ho, you've heard it all. Um, go and check, check it out for yourself in your local vape store. It's a good mod. Um, I recommend using your own drip tip because of the fact that this drip tip is very not very good. I don't, I'm not keen on this drip tip. So, that's it. I'm going to end this video here, and we shall catch you in the next video. Peace!